Dad's army icon Ian Lavender dealt with many health battles before he died aged 77. The BBC series hit our screens over 50 years ago and ran for 9 series and 80 episodes in total. The popular series starred the likes of Arthur Lowe, John LeMessurier, Clive Dunn, John Laurie, James Beck, Arnold Ridley and Ian, as Private Frank Pike. Ian was the only remaining main cast member before his death this week. Ian's death was announced in By Dad's Army's social media account on Monday afternoon. The post read, We are deeply saddened to hear about the passing of the wonderful, Ian Lavender. In what truly marks the end of an era, Ian was the last surviving member of the Dad's Army main cast. His wonderful performance as Private Frank Pike will live on for decades to come. He leaves behind a legacy of laughter enjoyed by millions. We will dedicate this year's tour to his memory. Our thoughts and love are with Ian's wonderful wife Miki, their family and close friends. His agent confirmed he died on Friday morning. Hilary Gogon told the PA news agency Ian had been ill for some time and that his wife and sons were by his side. The Birmingham Barn star was only 22 when he starred in Dad's Army and went on to have a fruitful career. He also played Derek Harkinson in EastEnders from 2001. Ian appeared in his last episode in 2017 before it was announced he would not be returning to the show Ian struggled with a few health issues over the years and was diagnosed with bladder cancer a few days before marrying his second wife Miki Hardy in 1993. He discussed the diagnosis and his marriage in an interview the same year. The star explained. We had been living together for 16 years and it was something I should have done a long time before, these things change you, they help you to see what is important in life. The tumor was successfully removed but he suffered another health issue nine years later. The actor had a heart attack in 2002, with Ian explaining to the BBC he was in the middle of reading an EastEnders script. I just knew there was something very, very wrong. All I can say is I have never felt so dreadfully ill, and all in a few seconds. Following his health scares, Ian urged people to look after themselves, eat healthily and don't take any risks. He told the Belfast Telegraph, spread the word, someone you know might have this symptom and reminding them to get it checked could save their life, it saved mine, and I'm 70 and still happy to be working. Follow Mirror Celebs on TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Threads.